Hello and welcome. This is Irfan Lodhi. Today we are going to learn about activity types and how activity type behave in Primavera. Before we move on, I have a question for you. Do you belong to construction industry or do you wish to work for construction company in future? And if your answer is yes, then this video is for you. Please watch this video and practice on your own and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you do not have Primavera software, please write a request in the comment box and it will be provided to you in free of cost. In the last video, we have talked about how to create a schedule in Primavera. You can follow this video onto my channel. We also talked about how to add work breakdown structure, a WBS, and we also talked about how to add the activities. All right, are you ready? Let's get started and move to our second lecture. What are activity types? There are six different ways that activities can behave. Let's go through one by one. Number one, start milestone. Number two, finish milestone. Number three, task dependent. Number four, resource dependent. Number five, level of effort. And number six, WBS summary. What is milestone? A milestone represents an activity which has no time or duration. Milestone is a point where the task has to be completed. For example, a kickoff meeting. For example, design completion. For example, uh, procurement completion. So these all are milestone. But in, the, in any schedule or in any program or for a, a project, there are minimum two milestones. First one is a start milestone and the second one is a finish milestone. Let's go to start milestone. What is a start milestone? A start milestone has a start date but no finish date. Now let's see how it behaves in Primavera. We are under EPS window. EPS is Enterprise Project Structure. Each EPS has one or more projects or project schedule underneath. That was the sample project we have created in our last video. And we need to open. Right click, click Open Project. Go to Activities from here or either you can click a short key here. This button is called activity details. So we need to select activity type and for getting activity type window, we need to click activity details. You see this window, this is called activity details. Under the activity details, there are several sections. We are going to talk about activity type. Select start activity, we are considering this activity here as a project start. And as we know that start milestone has a zero duration and only start date. So let us click on drop down button and select start milestone. If you see original duration, it was four and now it's zero. It was having a start date and finish date, but since we selected this activity as milestone, it has only start date. It is how it behaves in Primavera. Similarly, we'll talk about finish milestone. Finish milestone is exactly same, but it has only a finish date, not a start date. Let's go to Primavera 
and set the activity finish as finish milestone. Select finish milestone and if you see the duration is 0, there is no start date and there is only finish date. Let us go to next type. What is task dependent? An activity has some duration with the start date and finish date. So, the duration might be hours, days, months, whatever the case might be. Let us go to Primavera and see how it behaves. We have an activity called shop drawing. If you notice this activity having zero duration and only finish date, you remember this? What is this? Yes, I think you got right. This is finish milestone activity. We need to change this activity as task dependent. We will follow the same. We will select task dependent. And did you notice what happened? Yes, the duration is changed and set to 4. 4 duration normally it is by default. So, you have an option you can click here and change. You have also option you can go under the section status. This is a part of duration. You can change the duration. We are going to talk about duration in next video. But I am just giving you idea how it uh, works. You can have an option to work directly here or you can change from here. This time let us change this from here. Let us put 10 days and see how it behaves. When we change the duration, you notice the finish date is reduced. So, this is how task dependent activity behaves in Primavera. I would like to tell you the activity calendar is assigned to each activity. We are going to cover calendar topic in our next video. So, please subscribe my channel and do not miss the video. Let us move on and see what is next. What is resource dependent? So, resource dependent activity type is same as task dependent, but behave according to the assigned calendar to the resources. We are going to know more in details about resource dependent while we will cover the topic related to resources and resource loading in the following videos. Let us move on and see what is next. What is level of effort activity? Level of effort activities are typically used to define the effort of the project or in simple words level of effort activity type defines summary of project start and finish date. Let us go to Primavera and see how it behaves. We have an activity called duration. We are going to change this activity duration because this activity consider as a project duration. And we are going to assign activity type as level of effort activity. We change this level of effort activity and nothing is changed. And why it is not changed? As I told you, it shows project summary. So, the date here 15th May, we have project start date 15th May, finish date for the activity 19th May, the same date we have got for the project completion. What is next? What is WBS summary? WBS summary are same as level of effort. But th th this activity calculate WBS duration from start date to finish date, but not from the project start date to project finish date. So, let us see how it behaves in Primavera. Let us say we have an activity excavation and we are going to change this activity as WBS summary. So, we will select from here WBS summary, nothing is changed. We are going to change structure activity duration from 4 to 
10 press 10 and enter if you see this activity is extended by 26th May because we increase the duration. Now we need to run the project. A schedule is often required to run the project to forecast the duration and dates according to the changes are being made in the program or in the schedule. So this is the button to schedule the project. Click on the button. You may select the data date depending on your uh, situation and requirement. Click on schedule and see what happened. Excavation activity duration we set to 4, but it, it is extended according to structure activity finish date. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it. Your feedback is very important for me, so please give me your feedback in the comment box. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.